Okay. But anyway, uh, yesterday we have been discussing about that effectiveness factor, right? Yeah. And uh, of course, we have derived the derivation has come nicely, and also we have plotted all the graphs to discuss uh, what is the effect of various parameters and all that. Okay, if you if you could have observed those uh, derivations, there is one very important thing there, right? How do you define that uh, observable? Do you remember? What is the definition of observable? That is Carberry's number. R O B upon C B. Yeah. Okay, you are seeing and telling, no? Yeah, but I think you don't remember at all. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, R O B by C B K G A. Ah, K G A. Yeah. So everything depends on the measurement of R O B and also measurement of K G. Whether you measure experimentally or uh, whether you use the correlations, so that is why I would like to say if, uh, something about these car mass transfer correlations. So under various conditions, how do you, what kind of mass transfer correlations you get? Okay, most of the time, what correlation you know in mass transfer? Tell me one correlation. Some of these things we can. That's why you know the school education fortunately is always rememberable, right? If you don't remember alpha beta, I think you cannot do anything later, no. But somehow, when you come to the college, I think nothing to be remembered. I don't know. I mean, I have been telling you all this, you know, except Reynolds number, you don't remember any other number. Okay? You tell me any correlation in chemical engineering? Forget about mass transfer correlation. One correlation. And you may say, why so much interest you are telling, sir, about correlations? But only correlations are now you are now used only for, only for the design. You don't have complete analytical solutions or closed form equations to design something, right? Always you have only correlations. You know, no, Anurag? No. Yeah. In which course you have used so many correlations? Mass transfer. Mass transfer. Heat transfer you have not used, da? Heat transfer. Yeah. So and also your uh, equipment design. I think uh, you know. If you have really designed, you could have never escaped correlations. So many correlations are there for final design. So that is why understanding theory is different. And finally, when you are designing, you have to only go for correlations. So we will write some few correlations just to make you aware of what kind of correlations you may get. First, let us start with our industrial workhorse, particularly chemical industry workhorse. What is the equipment? Distillation. Pump heat exchanger. No, uh, any other? At least I am happy you remember the equipment name. Okay, yeah. Uh, it is called you know chemical industry workhorse, packet bed. If there is any choice of using a packet bed, first go for packet bed. What is the reason? Yeah, why? Low pressure drop. Ah, no, no. Packet bed will not have low pressure drop. Correlations are available. <laughs> <laughs> because correlations are available, so it it cannot become work hard. Says, yeah, work hard means what is the meaning of that? Very hard worker. All the time it works without any problem. So in packed bed there are no moving parts. Okay, so fixed packing, you know. So this is one of the main reasons, and also what is the equipment? You have a cylindrical. Right, most of the time. But we don't go for uh, square or rectangular cross section and have uh, 10 meters or 20 meters uh, column. We will not have why. Either square cross section or uh, rectangular cross section. See all these fundamental questions, you know, like asking why are you here, why I was born to only these parents, not someone else. So these are all basic questions where you know all of us can think. You will not give, never get answers. Okay, but here at least you will get answers if you de probe deep. A little bit deep. Tell me. For a square, the corners will be inaccessible. Yeah, for what? Packing and the flow as well. Hey, packing I can always put, no? No, but if it's big, then it might not fit. As in proper around the corners, there's all. In fact, when it's big, big, it fits very well. Huh? When it's big, it fits very well, because the particle huh? sizes are small, yeah. so happily they will go and sit. If you have small diameter, and then of course, as you said, rectangular. 
డయామీటర్ so that's why for packed bed what kind of mass transfer correlations are used that's what first i want to tell you one is packed beds the problem is i think you are happily listening and then you may be understanding what i am saying now but i think next minute you are going to forget that is my problem that's why many times also i repeat okay it's not like that matrix movie you know where uh, oracle tells okay whatever we discussed the moment you cross the door everything you will forget okay you don't even remember that we have discussed all that but that is reverse here it is matrix inverse matrix you should remember everything <laughs> you should remember everything whatever we discussed here you can never forget kalpana did you see matrix movie why <laughs> i will not give you grade unless you see that movie <laughs> so you have to see that movie i say it's a wonderful movie not once or two three uh, two two three times you have to do Yeah, Kavya, did you see? No, sir. No. I don't remember the movie. I watched it when I was young. Oh, that means you have really seen the movie. <laughs> Because after seeing the movie, if you don't remember also, that is valid. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But you know, beautiful concepts are there. After all, you know that is what is innovation of the mind. How beautifully it was the concept, simple concept, where we do all the time. I mean, philosophically, I relate that uh, in this way. you are just looking at me but your mind may, may may not be with me it your mind may be somewhere else that's what matrix also says but there i think technically you put a rod here connection and then go somewhere wherever you want right yeah but now you may be t- just uh, looking at me but still your mind may be in delhi india gate or maybe gateway of india or kutub minar or in hyderabad char minar so you may be thinking all about that right so but anyway this concentration is not there that's why i think we repeat so many times i repeat so many times so that at least one point of time you will come to the real class to catch what i am trying to tell okay packed beds one of the correlation there are many correlations for for uh, i mean what i am going to discuss in packed bed itself there are at least you know 10 to 15 correlations but what is the very i mean widely used okay correlation that's what only i am trying to give here we have jd jd definition yesterday we have seen jd equal to 0.4548 by epsilon b into reynolds to the power of minus 0.4069 this is the correlation where reynolds number is given as dp u rho by mu this i don't have to explain so this is equation number 1 okay and uh, this is valid this correlation is valid between reynolds numbers 1 and 2 10 to the power of 4 Reynolds number 10 to the power of 4. That's very very large Reynolds number for packet bed. Okay, it's not. Uh, it's not like uh, tubular flow, where 10 to the power of 4 for also you may not get complete turbulence. Whereas here in packet beds, what do, when do you get turbulence? Around 400. Okay, and when do you get Reynolds? I mean uh, laminar. I think uh, Abhinav, any idea about uh, packet bed? when do you get uh, till what reynolds number you get uh, laminar flow in packet bed absolutely no idea one, uh, around 1 to 10 around 1 yeah not a bad guess but arinita uh, why 10 because log scale 1 10 100 like that that's why you are just guessing next one yeah around 100 you, you are taking transport phenomena no you don't have course no transport phenomena 
sir. So you completed already. So then uh, it is there in that packet bag. Ah, then what did you do? Transport phenomena. Vectors and tensors. Huh? <laughs> Vectors and tensors. <laughs> Vectors and tensors you have done, huh? Ah. So that means temporarily you have been shifted to mathematics department or what? <laughs> ah. Who taught you uh, transport phenomena? Upendra Natarajan. Upendra Natarajan would have covered all that. No? He didn't cover only pamphlets. Ah. He only uncovered many things, sir. He only uncovered many things, sir. Huh? Yeah, I think <laughs> Huh? You know, unfortunately, this is what is happening, you know, with most of us, we are not able to identify what is required for a student in the B.Tech and M.Tech classes. But anyway, yeah. So, this is the one that means it covers and uh, the correlation was proposed by reference. Upadhyay. Okay, these are the others, and uh, there is a journal called Industrial Engineering Chemistry Process Design, Process Design, okay, Design and Development that is the journal, process design and development and uh, this was volume 16, page number 157, 1977. This is how we normally write uh, one method of writing references. The first one is volume number, okay. every year they will have volume in journals and then 157 is the page number. Sometimes we will also write 157 to maybe 165 page numbers from starting to ending and then this is the year in this general and these two people are from uh, BHU, Banaras Hindi University, Upadhyay I think still there or just about to retire or something and uh, Dudevi may be I think may be a student, but they have done a wonderful work you know this is Indian research where we collect all the data and then try to analyze. Okay? So, whatever data on packed beds has been uh, uh, available, so that uh, data they have put, uh, they have taken and then analyzed and fixed in this format. Okay? And mass transfer coefficient is there in the J D uh, definition. So, what is epsilon b? You could have guessed. Arian is factor. <laughs> oh, then I better write. Huh? Epsilon b is uh, porosity of the packet bed. Okay, good. So, this is one correlation. Now, I think you know uh, the other one is like uh, fluidized bed, which is again very widely used. So, for that, the correlation is. I think I will write here to. fluidized bed. The correlation is a little bit simple here, J D and J H. So, E transfer correlation also we can use the same thing. So, 1.77 d p g by mu 1 minus epsilon to the power of minus 0.44. This is valid Okay, this is valid between 0 less than d p g d p g mu 1 minus epsilon less than 5000. Okay. So, that is 1 and uh, for j d equal to j h 5.77 dpg mu 1 minus epsilon minus 7 8. So, this is valid between okay, 0, oh sorry, this is 30, the above one is 30, this is 0 less than less than 30. 
good there are two references for this reference to et al et al means you know some more are there i don't have other names to et al the journal is chemical dot chem engineering dot progress there is a journal called chemical engineering progress i don't know whether you have seen or not huh? chemical engineering progress so this is 49 volume i think i can also underline that yeah 49 volume 141 page number 1953 most of you uh, why most of you all of you are not there at that time 1953 yeah and also another uh, person maybe this one correspondingly is gupta and thodos this is also chemical engineering progress chemical engineering progress 58 58 page number 1962 so these are the references okay by the way what is that in that group does that have a name dpg by mu 1 minus epsilon yeah this is also a reynolds number sometimes based on y days of the bed okay y days of the bed so that's why it is there i think the g is what are the units of g yeah mass flux in fact okay yeah good right so that is the one and then now some of i told you these are the conventional ones and also you have a moving bed you have rotary kilns for all those things okay so that's why you have to just look i mean two very widely used uh, equipment we have taken and then just given just to have an idea what kind of correlations we are talking about when you are talking about kga okay yeah and there are some novel type of reactors for example monoliths yesterday only suddenly i got the idea you know i can now give a ms project uh, based on uh, you know the catalytic converters i can take them even though they are used or unused new ones i can give an ms project you know on uh, finding out hydrodynamics through that i don't think any published literature is there on hydrodynamics through monolith auto uh, you know what is that uh, automotive catalyst monolith it's very nice you know they will have a diameter of 4 inches or so yeah and length will be 6 inches or maybe 8 inches and that is simply inserted in the exhaust pipe of the car okay so when the gases after the combustion coming out through the exhaust pipe they have to travel through this particular uh, uh, monolith so then it's a catalytic reaction so when uh, the gases are passing through the monolith then you will have the catalytic conversion that means co going to co2 and you have many hydrocarbons normally converted into hydrogen and uh, you know co2 okay yeah i mean different harmful and non harmful products where you can simply put into the atmosphere but you see the entire thing is one reactor that means diameter 4 inches length is 6 inches okay it's a wonderful uh, idea but i think uh, you know hydrodynamics where is the dead space for example whether there is really plug flow or not i don't think many one I mean, many people would have uh, done it okay so because i have drawn yesterday the picture okay as a cylindrical and then you have lots of slots yeah each slot is a plug flow pipe that's what is the assumption but really we don't know whether there is plug flow or not so that is why we have to check in the laboratory whether really there is a plug flow you have to conduct a rtd test which is not that easy because the residence time of the gases through this 6 uh, inch tube or 6 inch length uh, monolith is very very small i mean maybe less than seconds so if everything automated you can beautifully find out whether there is uh, this plug flow or what will be the pressure drop you know the pressure drop i don't know whether you have seen uh, nowadays movies i think they don't show old movies when you see black and uh, white movies if you don't want your opponent uh, to start the car you take uh, some kind of uh, yeah lemon or yeah and then just stuff the exhaust 
So, outlet gases cannot come. So, engine will not start because the pressure is not developed there. So, okay. So, that is the kind of thing. That means, why I am telling is what you are doing by putting this uh, lemon or uh, some other obstruction, you are creati creating pressure drop, okay? very high pressure drop. So, similarly, if the monolith is there inside beyond certain pressure, pressure drop, then definitely you may have less combustion efficiency. Oil may be injecting, but still it is not burnt. So, that is why is there optimal uh, pressure drop across that. I mean all these uh, things they, they would have done in their research time like you know all these Ford companies or all other uh, bench companies, all these companies would have done, but it is secret for them, they would not tell. But only academicians who do not have any secret, all things we talk. Okay? So, that is why that kind of information is really wonderful information. Okay, anyway, good. So, now we are going to have one monolith reactor. where this monolith is given something like this. We have uh, plates like this. Yeah. So, then it is extending in this direction. Yeah. So, I think I would also draw. Yeah. yeah. So, till here, yeah, it looks like monolith. Okay, good. The flow is. Parallel uh, in this direction, and then coming out. Good. That is monolith, and each slot is like a plug flow. Each slot, and there is a plate here where both sides the catalyst is coated, coated. This side and that side, both sides. So then, gases going in this will react here, 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 here. That's what what we call as hydraulic diameter. Correct? No, wherever it is wetted. Good. So all that things will come there. And uh, the correlations for this is for this Sherwood number equal to six plus. Oh, okay, let me also give the dimensions here. So this one, this is the height h. This is w. And this is the length, of course. Yeah. That is the length. So, yeah, and uh, I can also say that this is the width that is B, width of the slot. Yeah. So, the correlation is 6 plus 0 0.00, how many zeros? 3 zeros, 6 Reynolds by L by 2 B, whole thing to the power of. 1.36, where of course, all the meanings are there, we have B and all that, but anyway, let me check uh, this one also. Sherwood is defined as 8 kg B D A B, that is the definition of Sherwood and Reynolds definition is 8 B U is the velocity by nu. Yeah, I think I lost equation that is equation one, two, not there, three, this is four. Yeah, so this is given by some Arashi reference. Arashi et al. I hope you know what is et al, no? I also wrote here et al. Somewhere, yeah. At all means, yeah, plus some more. And when do you write at all normally? Many authors. How many? More than, more than, three. More than two. two. When you have more than two, this question I am asking still many uh, PhD scholars when they come to me for synopsis meeting. Okay, I think after five years also, some of them, at least maybe twenty, I don't say twenty, fifteen percent, at least they don't know when to write at all. 
Okay, even for one writer, they uh, one other also they write at all. Okay, because safe, no, no problem. I think there was a one of the oldest uh, movies. I, mean, I remember all these things because I also passion for movies. So when uh, the you know new bridegroom and bride when they are entering house, they want to you know you have to enter only with right leg, you know. you put your right leg first before entering i don't know what is the sanctity right leg if you don't have or left leg if you don't have you cannot walk anyway so i think you know people say that right leg is better than left leg okay we don't know all these things are unnecessary things you know unnecessarily defined parameters which really troubles us this kind of left leg putting right leg putting and all that so you have to put the right leg so the uh, bridegroom does not know which is uh, right leg which is left leg so then his father tells you put two legs one will be right one will be left so i think that's a very good suggestion so like that we also have here at all okay yeah so this arashi at all where you have international chemical engineering is the journal this abbreviations also you should know as chemical engineer sir so volume 23 and sometimes you write in the bracket means that is issue issue means i mean every month they will have one issue so then totally you will have 12 in a year okay good so 22 this is 3 means maybe march okay and uh, then you have uh, what yeah 489 phase number this is 1982 <coughs> so that is the correlation they use yeah you see here i have given a different correlation for re see here it is different straight forward which you can see correct no dp and here we used mass flow rate or mass flux and here we have used kinematic viscosity okay that means mu by rho or rho by mu directly combined here so that is why this is one of my favorite questions in asking students when they come for interview tell me reynolds number in three different ways okay <laughs> yeah this is one of the nice these are simple nice things i say and also of course this b is the distance we say in the definition of sherwood number or reynolds number it is not always d it is the characteristic length okay so the characteristic length for the packed bed is particle diameter but not the tube diameter even in fluidized bed it is the particle diameter rather than tube diameter even in moving bed it is particle diameter why huh? and only simple tube we will take diameter completely diameter of the tube prabhu matrix are here yeah. here only yeah physically here mental i am asking yes ah uh, here only yeah why you understood the question what i am asking reynolds number if you have the tube empty tube flow then we will say that you know you take the tube diameter but in packed bed you take particle fluid as bed you take particle moving bed you take particle why not tube because there is also a tube correct no flow happening then you should the take wide edge particle. around the particle huh around the particle yeah all the phenomena is taking place around the particle so that's why the characteristic length will be the particle rather than the tube okay so that's why i mean these things many people will not repeat i mean will not say but i think if you know all that that is happy i think you know that simple simple things are very very important for us in fact it is most of the time simple things which give you happiness complicated things always give you problems okay good so that's why we say that before marriage i was very happy so after marriage no happiness that means there is a complicated thing <laughs> simple thing is no marriage <laughs> so this is the kind of thing okay so this is another one equation then we have another example wire gauze wire gauze reactor this i have been telling you many times you know wire gauze wire gauze and all that okay good so if you look at one wire gauze you will have something like this ah oh, almost okay this is the plan if you put that plate and then look at that that will be uh, looking like this and these wire gauges are normally put in a reactor 
and then that reactor just to show you how that can be yeah You have class now? Which class? Not Ravi, no? <laughs> Ravi means you should have warned me in the beginning itself. Yeah, okay. This is one sleeve, I mean one uh, sieve. This is another looking like sleeve. Yeah. So there is another one here. Flow is looking like see you kept in the tube, not looking. No. Yeah. Okay. So the flow is in this direction. Huh? What, Prabhu? Ah, you see. Yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. But cream biscuits cannot be used. But here only sieves one have to use. Yeah. It is like a cream biscuit. Very happy. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So now when I have this kind of flow, then again you know you may have. Uh, you you may have to put sometimes three, sometimes five, sometimes ten. It's not always, you know, five, ten like that. But any number, whatever is required for the design. So these, uh, okay, these these are the wires which uh, uh, are woven in the form of uh, uh, sieve, and those are the sieves which we will just keep there. And you can see now, if I have for one, two, three screens, in this correlation, if I have one, two, okay. I think I will dash one, one, two, three screens. You will have J D equal to 0.94 divided by Reynolds to the power of 717. So this is valid for 0.4 uh, less than Reynolds number, less than nine. Of course, where JD definition again, you know, I mean, it's not actually the the other definition what we have given JD definition. JD definition in terms of uh, dimensionless numbers, do you remember? Too much to ask. Huh? Okay, let me write that at least once. JD equal to Sherwood number by there are two numbers here, Schmidt number. Ah, uh, Reynolds number. Reynolds number. So, that is, this is one third and this will be half. That is what is the actual definition. Always remember, you know, in whatever correlation we have for mass transfer, you should have something to take care of hydrodynamics, something to take care of properties. Properties of the fluids you go and you get. Huh? What is that, Rachit? 0.7. 0.717. This is 0.717. Okay, yeah. So this is what what you have to remember. Always, you know, to take care of properties, which number we use? Reynolds number you cannot take properties. No? Schmidt number. To take care of the hydrodynamics or flow around the particle or inside, that is Reynolds number. So these two are must. Even for heat transfer, that is. But only thing is. Schmidt number is replaced by Prandtl number. 
So, that is why you have something connected. Okay? Good. So, this is the one. Then, uh, of course, where Reynolds number is defined here as, you see, every time you have to define Reynolds number, depending on your convenience, this is nu into epsilon. Epsilon is the wide edge of the sieve. Epsilon is the wide edge of the sieve or porosity of the sieve. Epsilon is the porosity, I mean the same wide edge and porosity we are using. Okay? So, that is the one and uh, okay. if I have 5 screens, if you have 5 screens, where do you write? This is B, 1 to 5 screens. Same thing I am continuing for wire gases. Then you have something called okay, alpha J D equal to 0.664 Reynolds by alpha to the power of 0 0.57. And uh, for Reynolds number 3 to 107, yeah, where alpha equal to 1 minus n into d whole square, where n equal to mesh size in number, mesh size in number of wires. Uh, number of wires per square inch, very good, inch square, that is n and uh, d is diameter of the wire. Yeah, I mean this also has been done by you know few people like uh, I will tell you. One, one, one reference I will give, one of the oldest professors who was in MIT, uh, reference Satterfield. Satterfield was excellent in uh, uh, mass transfer, mass transfer through heterogeneous systems and cortege. Yeah. So, this one is industrial engineering chemistry fundamentals f industry engineering fundamentals engineering chemistry fundamentals 9 is the volume number page number is 613 and here is 1970 okay one reference just i just would like to give you okay good so these are the kinds of uh, references uh, or uh, correlations what we have and you see this one and this one is in 70s, 80s, 90s. So, that means, the original thinking of uh, you know packet beds conventional systems are slowly being replaced by non-conventional systems like this, monolith reactors, uh, this wire gauzes and all that. That is how chemical engineering evolves. Okay? But originally packet bed and fluid edged bed, very happy, 50s, 40s and also 60s, 70s, 80s and all that new thinking. So, this is what? And uh, this is what I thought I will tell you, but still it is only the tip of the iceberg. right? So, we have so many other systems, so many other systems. The message I would like to give here is that whenever you are going for non-conventional uh, chemical reactors or non-chemical uh, non-conventional chemical engineering systems in terms of equipment, then you have to find out from uh, every time you have to do research and then find out the mass transfer coefficients, heat transfer coefficients hydrodynamics, hydrodynamics means what do you find out? The velocities that are possible, flooding that is you know when can, when can that, uh, that can occur, if it is uh, movement of the solids then you have to also find out when the particles fluidize or when the particles go away, all this information you have to find out through research. That is why still we are surviving. Okay? So, something new, something new, something new equipment, something new uh, I mean correlation or something new theory if it is possible. So, all multi-phase systems and you are now taking multi-phase systems that also you have taken already. Oh, you do not have at all, it is only for dual degree. Yeah, I mean entire chemical engineering is only multi-phase systems 
and when you go to multi phase systems even two phases then mostly theory theory cannot be understood so easily so that's why we go to empiricism okay so with this i think the external mass transfer uh, thing is uh, over in terms of uh, uh, effectiveness factors and also we have the correlations because all that analysis is depending on these correlations why because kg is very important or kl or whatever mass transfer coefficient is very important in defining that observable okay so that is the reason why we have to spend some time to let you know what kind of correlations you may be having at least you may not remember but at least later also in your life when sometime comes i think you have to say that yeah we know this kind of correlation somewhere i have seen so that is the main reason why we have done this so i think uh, this is fine okay good thank you